hey guys it's Selena and welcome back to my channel so today I'm gonna be doing a story time about what happened to me like a couple weeks ago girl I regret it so bad like I regret it but at the same time I'm like I did it cuz I'm a savage but anyways like this ring light is literally hurting my eyes like I don't know why it's not like a ring light it's like a selfie light and it's like pitch dark in my room it's like pitch dark in my room okay and I all the lights are off besides that light so that's probably why and I'm supposed to be wearing glasses but I can't because you can see literally like the light in the reflection and that bothers me so anyways so first we're gonna drink some um, cappuccino with this cute little cup this cup is cute I don't know what I'm going off topic I don't know why but cappuccino bomb but anyways you know we gotta take a little sip before we tell my story but anyways on to the story so I was on Vova a couple weeks ago and I wanted to pierce my ears I've had my ears pierced before but they closed and that was when I was like maybe I'd say 15 14 or 15 and they closed right after six weeks I waited six weeks I took care of them and then um, I took them off for one night okay because I was cleaning them and I was tired and probably and I forgot literally I woke up in their clothes and I was so mad because I think it was like 20 25 bucks but it's still cheap but at the same time it's like you know it's money but anyways so anyway I can't even talk but I was on boba and I saw they have these little ear piercing things I wish I still had them but I threw them away they're like miniature guns and um I was like, I want to get them. And so they came with a stud and like the back too. So the full earring. And it was only 69 cents. That should have been my first clue, but I did not listen. I was stupid, okay? And so um, I bought them and they came within like a week and a half. And I was excited. Like I got them and like I opened them and. Um, I was like, I want to pierce them now because, you know, your girl wants to pierce her ears. It's like one of those big hoop earrings and, like, look cute and stuff. But, um, so I get him and I tell my boyfriend, you know, pierce my ear. He's like, I don't know about that. And I was like, come on, like, I want to. And literally, it took forever because I was scared. It was like a little gun, like a miniature, like, um, ear gun. You know how the big ones are, like, huge and, like, you just press it and it goes well this one it was like little like this and you actually had to like hold your thumb and actually push it into the ear that's you use your might and like um the first time like he tried to do it like my boyfriend was the one who like was doing it for me but i told him to do it so it's my responsibility not his so like um he does it and the thing the stopper that was in there that was supposed to like do it like literally didn't work and when he pressed it it literally left like a line like it engraved a line in my ear i wish i had to, i took pictures i took pictures of what it did after but we'll get there and um it did that and it hurt like it was like a line like when you cut yourself like something sharp like on my ear and i was like oh my god like, it was burning and i was like oh well let's try it again so he had to cut something off of there and to make it actually go it goes in my ears were already pierced so there's still that scar tissue that was in my ear and um so like i'm getting off topic i can't even think but okay so that happened and he did that ear it took fucking an hour i swear and then he did that ear and so i was like yeah i got my ears pierced right and i noticed like later at night my ear became really like swollen i figured it's because my ears you know um we're not used to that and especially because i did it myself like um that's probably why but anyways and that's what i got and my boyfriend's like oh it's not infected and like i believed him and i was like okay so a couple of days went by and no maybe a couple of days yeah probably a couple of days and i noticed that this like this ear 
was getting more swollen. It was more like tense. I couldn't even lay on this here. And I was getting worried. I told him, I was like, oh, is it okay? Like, it's not infected because it'd be pusting, right? But there's different types of like the stages of infection. Like it doesn't have to pus to be an infection, I think. So like I was getting worried and I was like, we need to go to urgent care because my ear like was fucking hurting. And like maybe they can give me like antibiotics, you know, to help. So I go and um, the doctor, like when I went to urgent care, he's like, yeah, it's infected. Like he literally went like this, like looked at me and he's like, yup. And this one was infected too, but it wasn't as bad. Like it was a little bit in this here, but this here was like big. Like it was like maybe three times as big as the load. And he gave me um, antibiotics. I forgot what they were called. And um, they're like really big. They're like this big. And it was um, cellulitis, I guess. And it's a break of the skin, which causes an, an it's a break of the skin, which causes an infection. So um, I was like, damn. And then um, he gave me that. And uh, so then I go to work out. One day I worked out because I was trying, you know. And I think the sweat irritated my ear and which made it more irritated it was literally throbbing when i was done and i was like this like hurts so we go pick up my medication after and then we come back home and i was like damn my ear hurts so i go to clean my ear and my boyfriend's like the ear is literally in your ear like my it was gross and i was like no like maybe i thought it was like oh it's because it's swollen that's why it looks like that and um so like, whatever and then so like he was scaring me he kept saying it i was like fuck like what happens if my ear is actually like really bad so i looked there because like my bathroom has a big mirror and then has like the cabinet with the mirror on it where you can open and i looked and it it was literally in my ear like it hurt and i tried to take it out and i was like i can't take it out like it hurts like i don't have the strength to do it myself and i was fucking scared i was like oh my god like this is what happens to me because I don't listen to anything. So what I did, I was like, we're going to the hospital. Like it was like fucking almost 10, 9.30. He's like, are you sure? And I was like, yeah. So we go to the hospital and we literally stay in the hospital for five hours. And I was like, oh my God, five hours just so they could take an earring out of my ear. But so I went there, I checked in, I told them what was wrong and so they said have a go take see i was watching some show it was interesting and then they took my like vitals and then they had me sit back because they didn't have any room it was a busy night that night that i went only my luck and so um we go sit back in the lobby and it takes like literally another hour so then i go back and it's probably like i'm saying 11 30 or 12 at this point so we go sit back the like nurses i think they're nurses they come they're like what's wrong and i told them well my earrings are stuck like my ears are infected so i can't get them out so they took hydrogen peroxide like put it around my ear and they literally like one nurse was on each side they took him out this one wasn't as bad it was still like really like swollen and not really swollen but like swollen but this one was big like three times as my little and um he takes it out and literally this ear was like fucking pussing bleeding and it was gross but he took it out and literally had another hour and a half before the actually the ph the pd or whatever i don't know what the physician i don't know what the abbreviation is and um to him to come he's like what's wrong i was like they already fixed the problem he's like someone already saw you and i was like no they fixed the problem like um you know they took the earring out of my ear and that was wrong He's like, oh, okay, and so he looked at my ears, took my blood pressure, and checked my um, breathing, um, whatever. And so, like, that was that. And I left. And he's like, well, well, before I left, he told me, well, um, well, I can't even talk. 
So I told them before I left that I went to urgent care the day, like the couple hours before. They said I had cellulitis. And he's like, okay, that's exactly what I would tell you. And I would prescribe you antibiotics too. I only took the antibiotics for like a day or two. And I just let my body heal the infection itself. Which I should have took it, but I didn't. But lesson learned, um, do not get earrings off of Vova, you know, and do it yourself. 69 cent earrings, no, that's what's going to happen to you. And I learned my lesson, but at the same time I didn't, you know. But that is it for today, and I hope you guys enjoyed this little story because I found it, like, you know, only my luck. But I hope you guys subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.